Um, okay, sure. It's a, um, a, a genetic disease that um, basically manifests itself with brittle bones, um, which bones that are chalk-like and break easily with little or no pressure. When Kim was pregnant about three or four months into her pregnancy, they did a ultrasounds that um, had different measurements of normal babies in their long bones, short bones. Pretty much as well. and, then, and she had an amniocentesis, and that pretty much confirmed it that he had a lot. Okay. My old bag and then replaced my good rod. I mean, put my good rod in. So, what were the rods used for? So, were they put inside your bones? Um, well, like he said, we found out when I was, you know, a couple months pregnant, and it was not, you know, a happy scene, as you can imagine. Um, the doctor had called when I was at work and told me about it, and I had never heard of it before, so I, you know, Googled it and saw a lot of images that, that was a little daunting. Um, so it was very upsetting at first, actually, and then I called him right away, and, um, you know, it was a pretty upsetting time. <laughs> Yeah, she was upset when I uh, received the phone call from her because we didn't really know what it was and never heard of it. Well, I thought it would be one of your brothers, like a brother that can't play or do anything, just sit at home every day, but he's a lot more than that. He's really fun, but I was sad. Well, I really didn't know because I was like one year old. So, I didn't know until like when I was three that I was really sad that like he wouldn't be able to walk, but then now he is like running and stuff. Well, we might play um, soccer and stuff, like because um, like he, we don't want to get Nick hurt. So, what do your friends think of OI? You're, you're happy, Helen. I don't know. So they don't think about it? They're just, they don't really think about it? They just hang out with you? Yeah. It's really awesome hanging out with him because he's really fun to play with and he's funny and he, he's, uh, he can play a lot more than you would think he does because uh, he can like bounce on a trampoline or play baseball with us and he plays coach pitch. Well, kind of like the same as Connor. Yeah, it's really fun. He bounces on the trampoline. He goes over to his friend's house and stuff. And we do play with him a lot. Little kiddo, um, despite everything that he has been through, I mean, he's had, he, how, how many fractures did you say? I mean, um, over 30. Yeah, at least 30. He was, well, yeah, he was born with 15 fractures. Um, and he's had, yeah, well over 30, maybe maybe close to 50 at this point, even even minor fractures. Um, and despite everything he's been through, major surgeries, and he is just, he's amazing. He just keeps plugging away, and, you know, he's defied all odds as far as, you know, being able to walk and run. And um, so, you know, just all in his attitude, I think. <laughs>